Hello and welcome to the second part of my series How to Fix a Racetrack. You may have seen my first video where I took Abu Dhabi and turned it from the awful circuit that it is into something pretty amazing using the format which I've mm, not stolen or copied, um, been inspired by uh, Southport Racer, uh, another YouTuber who does How to Ruin a Racetrack where he takes a good track like Spa or Suzuka and cuts parts of the track out, pastes it in elsewhere, makes it look good and then it's an awful circuit. So in this series I'm taking bad circuits, in this case the Sochi Autodrome in Russia and making it a lot better. Now Sochi as a circuit is well it's designed around the Olympic Park that held the Winter Olympics and therefore there's some issues with it in that it's kind of been made to weave between all the different you know you've got the metal plaza you've got stadiums and different Olympic buildings so you can't really get in the way of them so the circuit has had to be squeezed between them which is why it's come out not that good you know apart from turn one and turn three the entire circuit is slow 90 degree corners like here, here, up the top here and it doesn't really work for racing because it's straight slow corners you can't stay with each other and stay close so nobody spreads out but could it be fixed? well that's what I'm here to show you the first thing to say is this final sector is <sighs> awkward really there's not much else that could have been done you've got the railway station back here and a major walkway into the main Olympic Park and yes it, it, the circuit can't go further this way you've got buildings here which would have been put in um, which means that this straight can only really do that if you want any sort of runoff and then here to get a paddock in the circuit can only do a chicane there and then two tight corners here because there's no space either so the final sector is one where it's well it's the worst part of the circuit but there's not much else that could be done about it but we'll come back to that but the start straight I think is fine turn one is pretty good if you've ever played the F1 games the AI can't deal with it and there's always a massive crash there and that's awesome turn two it's always an action point at the start of the race I don't think there's anything wrong with this start straight it's really the leading on to it and the rest of the circuit that's bad turn three is really the only the only good part about the circuit currently it is a fantastic long corner and you can actually overtake into this corner at the end but as soon as we get around here this is where the circuit kind of falls apart from here on it's all 90 degree corners that just spreads everyone out and there's not enough runoff really for them to battle each other you know cars often get pushed wide over the runoff but then you get squeezed on the exit here and that's the end of it so, you know it's, it's a circuit where it's all tarmac runoff and it doesn't actually work so how can I fix this well I'm seeing a massive car park area down here and I'm seeing a big car park area on the inside here now the circuit is very long as it is so unfortunately I don't think extending the track down here is going to work because it'll then get over seven kilometers which is the limit uh, apart from sparks they can get away with that so I won't be extending the track down here as much as I'd probably like to but on the inside it looks like we have a large empty car park space that could very easily be like turn three. We'll take turn three because it's actually got like some runoff with it and that's to be honest the most important part because it's such a horrible corner if you get it wrong. Sight for sore eyes. A good corner being made to replace a terrible set of corners. Okay. Uh, 
Therefore, the next thing to do is turn this horrific corner just into a car park. So now we've got our new turn three, which is now somewhere else. We have this section, which doesn't really do anything interesting. Fast, slow, medium, no idea what speed that corner is. Whatever it is, it's boring. This double apex thing that... <sighs> Well, it's got one apex, and then you don't touch that one, so it just defeats the point of it. And then this corner just doesn't allow any overtaking to happen down the next straight. So, I'm thinking, why don't we just completely avoid this bit, allow turn three to maybe have a bit more runoff there, because, I mean, that's what this bit is. It's two bits of runoff fighting for each other. So... I'm just going around the back of this building. I'm going to try and not take out that grass because, hmm, well, why not? So I'm thinking, I think you keep this corner as it is, as an entry, but maybe go a bit like Monza's second chicane. I'm thinking, copy it, paste it about here, get it running out. Yeah, let's give it a go. Yeah, that's not too bad. Well, get it to line up with that. Blow that line, blow this line, and we have ourselves a chicane. I will look at that. Maybe this is the bit that could be all Russian, you know, Russian flag in the runoff. Make it look cool. Mm. Doesn't need much runoff on the exit, really. What I'm going to do is go down here, take this runoff like this and we have got ourselves a little bit of runoff make this back into the car park that it always should have been yes car parks everywhere because that's just what you want when you've got a racetrack not grass not sand tarmac car parks oh yeah but we've now got to get the track from here to there um, this will require a little bit of a bend, which we happen to have down here. Can I copy this? Wait, why did I ask for permission? Of course I can! Right, that's in position. We're going to have a little kink here. Well, again, that is like what they have at Monza. It does slightly kink on the extra there chicane. There we go, that works. However, as you can see, it's extremely red still. So, watch this. Nice colour red. With blue. Oh. Just that. is better. It's not as red as it was before. When we get down here, it looks like the track. I will extend this runoff, I think. So this ram home that we are at the Russian Grand Prix. Copy the Russian flag from this runoff down here. Choose the wrong tool. Come back. Put it on top. Nice Russian runoff. Nah, that's good. It's good enough. So we now have our kink onto this little curvy back straight. Now this chicane will probably do a good job of getting the cars together, and it might actually be worth just joining this straight onto here and making it a long straight, and then having a chicane or something down there. That sounds like a pretty valid plan. To join these up, I might just have to go back to Old Faithful Turn 3. Or, we haven't even mentioned Turn 1 yet. Well, I've mentioned it, but I haven't used it. It's a good long apex corner, and therefore it shall be stolen. So, no need for anything else. Um, I'm 
which might require a little bit of movement. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't. And just use that as a brilliant looking um, way to merge them together. This bend down here. I stick together a bit better now. I will have to obviously play around with the merging of those because it doesn't look great at the moment. But if I can use this bridge as a way to make them merge seamlessly without me having to bother trying to seam them, then we actually have something looking pretty good. You know, you've got a you're tearing up some marshland to make an Olympic park and a racetrack, you've got to have something that makes it look like you're environmentally conscious. And there we go. That is that. This bit, it served its purpose. It's time for you to disappear into the bleakness of obscurity. But we now have a very long straight with one, two, three, four corners in it. That's not really going to work. Also, we have a straight down here which has, well, a breaking point that's curved that's really hard to get right. So, you know, that's quite good. You know, a tough breaking point, nothing wrong with it really, but there's no runoff at all. And we've seen Carlos Sainz have an enormous accident there, and because there wasn't any runoff, he just got, he just went to hospital because it was. It just didn't stop in time, basically. Or, it stopped in before it should have. So, we're going to replace that. Now, we have this short circuit here, which I can't use for anything, it's bad. But, it is a large car park esque area, which I can turn into a hairpin. Creating a hairpin is going to be a little bit tricky. Um. So I'm gonna, as as this corner is getting pulled apart, I may as well use it. Straight is pretty much as long as it needs to be as it is, so I'm not going to mess around anymore. This is the length of the straight. There's loads of space for runoff in this car park. Um, yes, I am thinking about runoff. You've seen me play around with that Russia thing. Must know by now that I care about <laughs> saving these yeah we're into the final sector really and this is where it becomes a problem of okay now we're trying to squeeze in a circuit into the Olympic Park and that doesn't really work unfortunately um, that's why this bit doesn't is it's compromised and there's nothing you can really do about it um, so I'm just going to copy this bit, so the plan is do this, I might just extend it in the middle a slight bit, but we instantly have slightly better of taking spot, it's a straight 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 into this, into this corner, nice big curve on the exit out wide before squeezing into this which is now a chicane not a great chicane but it's okay I mean there's not much to go on really is there it's just all about polishing the turd this track really and so far I well I hope you agree but I feel like I'm doing a good job it's a big turd to polish Here I am working away and put some thought into it, thinking, okay, here are the challenges. Squeezing a circuit in between Olympic stadiums. It's not easy. I'll give you that. It really is not easy. But you can do stuff about it. Fit that in. And now I just need to slightly adjust these. stop them cutting the corner on the exit. Grass runoff, not a curb, grass. 
don't go too wide there and try and cut the corner or it'll bite you in the bum so now yeah we get to the final sector this space is reserved for a paddock <coughs> there's not much you can do about it they've pretty much got defined regulations about how big they can be um, this chicane is bad these two corners are bad You've got to have runoff, which makes it even boring. The pit lane entry is there. That's all. It's all. The lap doesn't end as it should do, really. And it's because of that road and that road, completely bounding it, and a tiny bit of grass. So, what can we do to any of these chicanes? After much thought, I have actually come to the conclusion that there really isn't anything I can do to change the layout of those corners. All I am going to do is just... Well, one of the banes of modern circuit design, street circuits especially, is that there's a wall on the inside of the track, but then they extend the apex out away from that. So what I'm going to do is grab all these apexes and just move them right next to the wall so yeah, you get some great shots of drivers getting as close as they can to a wall and what's not to like about that? It'll make the corners a bit quicker it'll allow the drivers to drive faster um, the corners will change completely because you're now taking them at a different angle so we don't need that there um, and yeah, the track's wider, camber might be slightly different and better. No, through this bit it definitely will be better. And basically, make the corners a bit... Oh, I've moved the wrong thing there. Yeah, just make the corners a bit better, a bit quicker. And also mean that if they turn in too early, like they do at the second chicane at uh, second swimming pool chicane at Monaco, get it wrong, you rip your wheel off, and <laughs> that's quite cool actually. Finally, the driver is getting punished for making a mistake, and that's what we want to see. Apex right up to the pit entry line. Yeah, try and enter the pits now. <laughs> it's going to be safe, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Put a wall there. And now this corner especially, because it's wider, there's a chance for drivers to take different lines through it. And different lines on the way into a straight is exactly how it needs to be. Because that is how you get overtaking. When people can come into a corner and take a different line not get disrupted by each other and overtaken to the next corner and there we have it I have completed and fixed the racetrack at Sochi for the Russian Grand Prix we now have much faster corners in places we don't have as many 90 degree slow corners we do still have a lot because especially the final sector there's literally no other option they are unavoidable. Some of the 90 degree corners are at the end of straights and therefore overtaking spots. But, yeah, basically, this circuit you had sector 1, which is fantastic, sector 2, which was the problem, and sector 3, which there's nothing you can do about. So I've completely changed sector 3. We now no longer come inside the circuit here and go near turn 3. We have turn 5 is now a much faster corner, turn 6 and 7 is now a chicane, which you then come out of turn 8, turn 9 is a copy of turn 1, turn 10 we're not calling that a turn anymore, so turn 10 down here is a big breaking point, a big overtaking spot hopefully, turn 11, 12 and 13 is now a chicane which goes through this bridge which you can't avoid. And then, the final sector, just change the curbs. So there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got another circuit you'd like me to fix, please tell me in the comments. And yeah, until next time, 
enjoy the fixed race track.